Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the Alpha Destiny Novice program. Today we have all sorts of fun things planned. We've got box squats, trap bar deadlifts, overhead press, close grip bench press, weighted pull-ups, and weighted planks. So we ran day A of this program, which was the first day I ran this program, Monday this week. So if you guys want to watch this video, make sure to check that out. It's on my channel. So first exercise we're going to be doing today are the box squats. So I went up 10 pounds from last week. So yes, I was feeling a little bit ambitious. Last week felt a little bit easy, but today was definitely a lot harder. As you guys can see, I'm really grinding out some of these reps. I want you guys to pay attention to, you know, I have that wider stance, and I'm making sure to not, you know, really be leaning forward and using my knees or quads as much. You guys will see the side view, and you guys will be able to see, you know, that I'm not leaning forward too much, you know, except for maybe the last rep of my set when I'm getting really fatigued. So I only recorded two sets of this exercise, and it's, it's going to be the same for most of the exercises today. I'm um, just to make the video a little bit shorter for you guys. So here's a side view. I really just want to show you guys, you know, that my movement pattern really show you where the hip of my crease is compared to my knees. So as you guys can see, they're just about e even right there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this bench is maybe a little bit too high still? But as you guys can see, knees. May, I might be using too much quad. I'm not really sure. I might try lowering the weight next week and just playing around with the form, you know, trying to really use that posterior chain a bit more. We'll try it out. But yeah, look at that rep. Such a grinder. So next we're going to be moving on to the overhead press. So it is a paused overhead press. Um, my pause isn't too long, but you guys will see in a bit. So I just want to show you guys, you know, how I set up. Um, so you guys can see, really making sure to squeeze those lats and just stack everything. So I want to stack my wrists with my elbows and just have my triceps resting on my lats as well. And then making sure to drive through with that neck. So as you can see, like I said, you know, there is a pause. You know, it's a slight pause. Maybe I could have done it a bit longer. But the whole point is that you're not just doing touch and go reps. So I think overall this was performed pretty well. And I'm going to show you guys how I set up. So I, as you guys saw, I don't really step back. So here, you know, I'm setting up a little bit behind the bar, making sure to squeeze my lats. And this way I don't have to walk the bar out. And the reason I do that is because when I walk the bar out, I tend to lose a lot of tightness in my upper back. And, you know, that's no good. So that this is the way I do it. As you guys can see, I'm really making sure to push forward, you know, with my neck. And this is just, you know, I've gotten really good at using the stabilizers in my upper back, and this is just from doing so much Z-Press. Um, you know, ever since I, Alex first introduced that exercise on his channel, I've just fallen in love with it. I do Z-Press all the time, so it's really translated over to my overhead press. So next we have the trap bar deadlifts. So I haven't really done this exercise a whole lot. As you can see here, I'm actually using the lower handles just to make it a little bit more difficult. The thing is too that I can't really put too many plates, you know, on this bar. Um, yeah, I can only put three plates. I mean, of course, I probably wouldn't have been able to put four plates with the high bar anyways. But I have 335 pounds here. This movement felt really good. I really liked it. I could really feel myself using leg drive. Like I could really feel it in my hamstrings and my glutes. And it's not, usually don't really feel that a whole lot when I'm doing conventional. With conventional, you know, I'm really feeling it in my lower back. So, you know, this was a pretty good weight. I definitely think I can keep progressing with this. My one rep max conventional is 430 pounds. But, you know, that is with a belt. So, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. You know, doing 335, no belt, no wraps. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how far I can bring this movement up. You know, probably just going to keep progressing with 10 pounds. So next we have close grip bench press, um, or I you know, I should call it closer grip bench press, making sure to really, you know, align my wrists with my elbows. As you can see here, I'm really setting up, making sure to set up properly, retracting that shoulder blades just for shoulder health. So 135 pounds, I got seven reps for all three sets, which is pretty solid. Um, you know, bench press is one of those lifts that I've really struggled with in the past, and I finally started to see progress with it. And... I'm really excited to see how much progress I can make, you know, in these next couple of weeks of running this program. 
So next we have these weighted chin-ups. So at first I tried doing these with an 18 pound kettlebell and it was just really difficult. I barely got three reps. So for the next two sets I dropped it down to 13 pounds and I was able to get it as you guys can see. Um, five sets for the next two sets and this is just one of those exercises that I really want to get stronger at. I don't know, I would just feel like such a badass being able to bust out you know, reps with a 45 plate stacked under me. That would be awesome. So next, weighted planks. I really recommend you guys do that. Do these. Um, I'm showing you guys here how I set up. So I really just, you know, have the plates standing, flip them over on myself, and then just go. You know, make sure you have a timer. These are really, really difficult. So I bumped up the weight this time with 35 pounds, and I did three sets of 30 seconds. Or actually, I was only able to do the first two sets with 35 pounds. Last set, I dropped it down to 25 because it was just so difficult. But yeah, that was the workout. I mean, these are awesome. I could really feel my core working, and I feel like it's really going to make me a lot stronger on the compound lifts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout commentary. I hope it was helpful for you guys to see someone, you know, go through the whole program exactly how Alex has it on his website. So, you know, if you guys want to keep seeing my progress, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to keep uploading these videos every time I go train. Now, if you guys are more interested in nutrition, how my diet's going, then stay tuned till the end of this video because that's what's coming up next. All right, guys, so just got back from the gym. Pretty successful workout, I would say. Maybe I got a little ambitious and jumped the weight up a bit too high, but back home now. Just wanted to keep you guys updated on the diet. So last episode, I didn't really show you guys you know, what my starting weight was at, but it's actually 181.6. Put it up right here. And then, so that was on Monday. And today I weighed in at 179.6. So just, you know, water weight going down. I've been able to stick to that 2200 calories, um, maybe 2300. I, don't, I haven't really been able to track exactly because I have been using like some sauces and stuff in my food. and Sometimes that's annoying to track. But I was able to track even yesterday for 4th of July. Um, I really, I just made some food here at home and I'm going to show you guys what it is right now. All right, so this is essentially what I made. So this is just some barbecue seitan. Um, it's essentially just wheat gluten. Then just some baked potatoes and some roasted Brussels sprouts and carrots. And then this is just some ketchup with sriracha sauce mixed together. If you haven't had it, it's absolutely delicious. And then over here, I just have a little bit of tofu and a serving of sunflower seeds. Um, just to get a little bit of extra protein and then the sunflower seeds to just get some fat. So in total right now, this is seitan, 23 grams of protein. I'm gonna add another slice of bread, so that's eight, 31, I'd say about three grams of protein in potatoes, so 34, Brussels sprouts, another three, 37. This is a third of the tofu, so this is gonna have around 16, so 37 plus 16, 53, plus seven from the sunflower seeds, so 60. So all in all, about 60 grams of protein here, as you can see. Calorie wise, not too bad. Um, I'd say, so the sandwich should be about 547. I don't know, actually, yeah, it's quite a bit actually. <laughs> Maybe like eight, 900 calories. So eight, 900 calories, and not, not too bad. Um, Maybe 800, I'll put the exact number up for you guys to see. But my breakfast this morning was a smoothie. So that was probably around six, 700. So about 1,500 for the day, and I'm already at around 130 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that makes sense if this was about 800. So I've got about 700 calories left. That's going to be in my dinner. And I don't know. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm not feeling too hungry yet. Of course, it is the beginning of the diet. So first couple days are pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I mean, gym felt good. I don't know how Friday's going to go because... Those squats today were pretty heavy. I might have to lower it. I feel like I was really using my quads a bit more than I should have and not really using my hips or my posterior chain. But we'll see what happens. I was a little fatigued today. Didn't get that much sleep. Um, trap bars felt good. But yeah. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see you know, more videos like this, I'm going to keep keep up with my training log so you guys can see you know, how I progress linearly. Like I said, I feel like I'm pretty close to that intermediate stage for my lower body. Upper body, you guys saw, I have a lot more to go, but getting there for intermediate in my lower body. Anyways, make sure to like the video if you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.